What up, what up, world? It's Decent here with another exciting edition of Pop Does Presents, sponsored by the great people at Lotte Team. Make sure you go to LotteTeam.com for all of your wine needs. Now, my guest at this time has cultivated and captivated millions of people across the world with her amazing voice, but now she's here to talk about her true colors. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Stick with me, kid. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the very talented and amazing Allie Caldwell. Woo! Oh, thank you, China. Thank you, Japan. Thank you. Thank you mm. for having me. <laughs> What's up? How, how's it going? I'm good. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm, you know, living life. It's 2019. Gang, gang, gang. New music time, you know? Uh huh, uh huh. Well, life is great. How well, about you? I'm, I'm chilling, you know, wearing this yellow thing, you know? Doing it's, my thing. it's pretty yellow. Oh, thank you. And you also have matching sneakers. You know what? I dress for the occasion. You gotta coordinate. You know, I showered and everything too because I knew you were coming. I yeah. would hope so. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I had to be on par because you know you sound amazing. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you. You smell amazing. Oh, thank yeah, you. you. Smell like a mixture of cocoa butter and Beyonce's Coachella performance. Um, <laughs> it's a very very powerful aroma. I mean that in the most complimentary way possible. <laughs> Wow, but, I don't think I've ever heard that kind of compliment. That's amazing. Yeah, you know, yeah. mark that down for the first time. I'm not gonna forget it. Yes. Talking about your song "Colors" mm -hmm. that you released back in December. Mm -hmm. So tell people a little bit about the song because it's, it's kind of a bop. It's just um, <laughs> "Colors" is such a fun song. I mean, it's, it's super fun. I'm I've been playing it, you know, around my family, and that's all they want to do is just play it back to back and on repeat and dance in the kitchen. Uh, you know, way before I released it, you know, <laughs> Thanksgiving time and, you know, around the holiday uh, time, they were, like, playing it in the kitchen while they were cooking and dancing and, you know, acting silly with the music. It's just that kind of vibe where um, it makes you happy, puts you in the mood. Um, like, you know, when you want to clean your house, spick and span, you know, it's that kind of music that you know, get things done, and um, I'm very excited about it. It has a powerful message, and um, basically uh, pushing self-love, you know, with females, and it's a lot of girls who don't really feel like they're enough because of what society, you know, has put out there about what the look is mm -hmm. and, you know, what's beautiful and what's accepted into the industry and what's not, and this song is just basically saying no matter what shade of skin color you are, no matter how big, tall, small you are, um, whatever you are, whoever you are, you know, you're beautiful, you are enough. And, you know, just see through, you know, the black and white and look at all of the beautiful colors. And, you know. Yeah, and that's definitely a message that is needed and very, very promoted in this, mm -hmm. you know, social climate. And it's awesome that you as a woman has been able to kind of craft this song and put it out in the universe and especially yeah. since it's something that your family seems to love as well because yeah. you know with black people you know family is always <laughs> the gauge of whether or not something is good or not right and i'm pretty sure <laughs> with this song coming out around the holidays they're like ali go go ahead and sing that song what's that oh song? my gosh go yeah do that little dance you just want to play it on repeat but that's the point you know that's that's how you know you made a hit when um everybody just wants to play it on repeat and it feels good you know to you know, hear them say, I want to hear it again, I want to hear it again, so. Awesome, yeah. and that's definitely a song that we want to hear again and again here at Pop Dust. So, tell us a little bit more about Ali, the person, the woman, like, you know, social security number, um, pay stub, um, current residence, um, <laughs> blood type, um, missing anything. Um, Shoe size. Marital status, if applicable. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's talk. Make let's sure my talk. sneakers are tied in case I try to shoot my shirt right now. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, okay. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I grew up in Jersey, um, from Jersey, and, um, you know, I've just been chasing after this whole singing thing since I've been in high school, and I want to say maybe like 16 years old, I got my first opportunity to be in a girl group. And it was three of us, and that was my first opportunity to show my mom and the world and anybody else who, you know, knew of us that um, this was what I really wanted to do. So um, ever since then, I've just been chasing after it, after the girl group obviously didn't work out. And um, yeah, I just wanted to keep on going because it's really my passion, and I love to sing and I love to perform. 
So I just kept it going. I was very determined about being an artist. Mm -hmm. um, not so much about being famous, but just um, building up myself as an artist and where I can actually say I have music out there and there's music that I created and took time to, you know, write this music and create this music for people who actually want to hear me sing. So, you know, it was a big deal for me to uh, make that happen for me as a solo artist. And um, yeah, everything has just been so amazing. It's, it's so weird talking about myself. You gotta <laughs> ask me a question. Oh I mean, my gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my job. Oh, I'm, trying. So I'm trying. Weird. I'm trying. I'm okay. trying. I'm trying my hardest. So ask me a question like, what's my favorite color? Like, you know, stuff like that. All right. Um, what's your Obviously, you should favorite know that. color? I mean, you should know that. This isn't gonna work if you're like. <laughs> Telling me to ask you the question, then you're going to answer the question and coach me. Like, <laughs> Okay, so my favorite color is red, of course. Okay. Red, hence the red. And that's because of your blood affiliation? <laughs> no. <laughs> so to all the gang members watching? It's, um, it's only because I'm obsessed with red. I've been obsessed with red. And um, before it was pink, but pink um, just kind of like left me for a little while and the red took over, so... Yeah, it's yeah, been red very, ever very, since. Very, very bold, you know, stands out. Yeah, you know. says a lot about my character. Yeah, it blends very, very well with your skin tone. Thank you. I used to be scared, but now I ain't. <laughs> so, you being a woman, more particularly a woman of color, how important do you feel representation is in today's musical climate and social climate? Like, to have young women looking up to you, seeing everything that you're doing, how important is that for you? It's very important. I, I didn't know how important it was until um, my first experience on national television. Um, you know, after being on The Voice, I think it was uh, season 11, when after leaving off of, you know, that platform, I've gotten so many, you know, messages and emails and even people call, like, I have a number on my page where people can actually, like, leave me voice um, messages and, you know, just listening to everybody's story and how much people are saying every day that I inspire them. And, you know, I'm waking up every day, like, I'm still looking for, you know, something to inspire me. So the fact that little old me is, like, in this big light and, you know, I feel like I just have to be very careful of what I do and what I say and... You know, they're like our, our babies, you know, like the next generation coming up behind us. So you want to make sure that you're showing them the right way to go, you know, showing them the right things to do and, um, you know, the right way to carry yourself, especially as a young lady, a, a young black lady. You know, it's, it's hard for us in the industry already as it is, you know. So um, I, I just think it's important to to be that light and to make sure that, you know, the way that I'm going is like, not perfect, but almost perfect, so they can like see and watch and you know kind of get you know inspired by what to do and what not to do, you know, when they get older. So, album on the way, mm -hmm. you know, dripping in nothing but swag. Well, thanks. What can we expect on the horizon, you know, just with everything that you're doing, everything that you want to accomplish, not just with this year, but going forward as an artist, as a person, what what would you want your legacy to be? I want to stick my big toe in a little bit of acting. I First, I have to get over um, the awkward part of me, um, you know, being in front of the camera, and because I know it's something I want to do, mm -hmm. but I'm more so on the spot. Act, you know, actress, you know what I mean? Like, so I just, I have to get used to how it works with actors and actresses, but that is something that I want to do, and uh, hopefully this year I'll be able to, you know, get my hands in it. And, um, of course, the new album. Um, and, you know, just me as a person, just working on being a, a, a better woman, a better person, um, you know, really getting closer to uh, my fans because once I drop that album, you know, I want to make sure that, you know, they're still there for me as they always been and um, just showing them a little bit more love, you know, personality. And, um, you know, it's so much on the horizon, you know. I got a hair color, you know, little campaign thing going on with the hair dye company called Splat. 
and you know we're doing a little bit of business, um, trying to make you know create my own color, my own little thing going on. Can you hook me up so with some of that fun. hair color stuff? Cause I like the dot of locks. So. There's other colors, yes. So I can but probably I wanna, hook you up. Want, you want this color? I want the cold war special, man. Oh, okay. Well, we can figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. We can definitely figure that out. Figure the best way, you know, to try to be with a woman is try to be like her. So I'm just. I cannot. That's, that's <laughs> this general statement. Not saying that in this scenario, that's what's happening. I cannot. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm. Um... Where can the people find you at on social media? Um, I am Ali Caldwell. That is A L I C A L D W E. L L and my Facebook is Ali Caldwell Music and my Twitter is the same as my Instagram, the I am Ali Caldwell, and my website, Ali Caldwell Music. And also subscribe to my channel on YouTube at Ali Caldwell Music. So much more coming to that channel and very excited about it. So yeah, that's all my channels. Awesome. Well Ali, thank you so much. Stopping by. Thank you for we had having an amazing me. time. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ali Caldwell one time. Woo! Once again, this has been Pop Dust Presents, brought to you by the good people at Lot 18. Make sure you go to lot18.com for all of your wine needs. Make sure you follow us on all social media at Pop Dust. Make sure you visit our website at popdust.com. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube and do us a little favor, click the little bell to be notified of brand new content. My name is Decent, and we will see you soon for another episode of Pop Dust Presents. Peace. Peace.